What's up, beautiful people listening? Don't remember, welcome to the channel. Today, we have this very interesting video, and it's from V Officer Tatum, and it's titled Virek Ramaswamy Demolishes Don Lemon on his show. Also, um, I'm excited to check this one out to hear what um, V Officer Tatum have got to say. Let's check it out. I think that's fact. reductive. It's not and reductive. I think it's Don. insulting. There are a whole plethora of reasons that I, for look, the civil with due respect, war, I find I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to Black Americans, to say that Black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. Don Lemon wasn't ready. <laughs> This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, get you one of these shirts. Third day, 30% off the entire store. I'm still running the sale. So if you want to take advantage of it, you better take advantage of it now because I'm not going to run it too much longer. So third day, spell it out. The complete word, third day, you'll get 30% off the entire store. Get you one of these shirts. They going, they going, they going, they going until they gone. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, I make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Vivek Ramaswamy. I honestly believe if Donald Trump wasn't as much of a rock star as he is, Vivek Ramaswamy would be my number one choice for president. Mm. I, I honestly believe that Vivek can be the president over Run DeSantis. Wow. And, and I, I normally don't talk like this, but man, I've been listening to this man. And this dude makes so much sense, mm. so intelligent, a businessman mm. that have generated wealth, and, and he has my respect. Mm. And so if Donald Trump wasn't going to run, I, I almost would put him ahead of Ron DeSantis, to be quite honest. But let me tell you about this. You got to watch this exchange between Vivek and Don Lemon. And I just love it when people are unashamed to tell the truth yes. and not worry about the color of your skin or who can say what about mm. what people. Just focus on facts. And I have never seen anybody other than Sheriff, I forget his name, the sheriff that, that went on Don Lemon and literally was like this, face to face with Don Lemon and, and, and charged him up on the show. Um, but I've never seen anybody challenge Don Lemon and have a strong conviction of facts than Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy. So let me go uh, and play the clip. So y'all need to watch this. This is the, this is epic, epic. Roll the clip. It's a direction. The very policies that we implemented in this country in the name of helping black Americans have actually been disastrous for black Americans facts. and all Americans. And I think so, that that's something that we need to wake up to. In 1865, you were talking about the black codes, right? That's right. Passed, enacted to make it a crime for a black person to carry a gun exactly. in the South. But you're equating that to the current president? You're referring to economic chains? What are you saying? Well, I, I was referring to Joe Biden's, I think, ill-chosen expression to say they're the party that wants to put you back into chains. What I'm actually saying is that if you look at the policies you of the modern Democratic that about Party. Democrats. Absolutely. So what I'm saying is that actually it's policies like that of Lyndon Johnson and Joe Biden that are actually holding black Lyndon Americans Johnson's back. Lyndon Johnson's the war on poverty? Yes. And in particular, his great society where he actually created incentives in the family, where if you're a family, you could actually get more money by not having the father in the home. What? Guess what you get? You get what you Facts. I, I, we're going to continue. Facts. On facts, and then on top of that is another fact that was on another fact. They can't handle this. They don't hear facts. Yeah. I pray to God people are listening. Pay One for. Of, I think it's been really bad for the black community. I think it's really bad for all Americans. Yes. What, do you have anything on this before I move on I, to I China? Just, I don't see what the one has to do with the other, but... Go on. I took up a lot of time. Of course, you don't. Oh, it's days, fine. We have time. I, I, don't, I don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially consider and using the Civil War to talk about Black Americans. That war was not fought for Black people to have guns. That's 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 not. That war was fought for Black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah, actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad but that part wasn't about fought it. Fought for, for Black people to have guns. I think. Actually, you know, no funny fact is Black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. And I think that that's black, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. I disagree with you. I, I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we had the quality before the law. Skin, then you oh, no, yes. no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, I got to play it back because, because you see Vivek was giving facts. Yes. 
Facts. You got to be a Looney Tune to think that the civil right, the civil war wasn't fought so all people can have freedom. And when you have your freedoms, you have the freedom to keep and bear arms mm. that go together. But see, see, he can't argue on the merit. He can't argue on what Vivek was saying because he know he ain't got he, the facts in on his side. So look at the direction that he went. Well, Service to our country. Okay. By failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have you equality are in black the skin and you live in this country, then cut. you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we have three I, different shades Don, of I think we have to be able to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color skin. of our skin. Yes. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, I think absolutely equal rights in this country. Actually, I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit there and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your, what, what, your what part thinking? of history was wrong? Exactly. What, what, what part of history, history was wrong? Was the Civil wrong. War was fought. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people, only for black people to get guns and for black people to the have... The Civil War was fought for rights. black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission. And I think that it, even yes, after, right. even after we succeeded, to, to we had to actually secure those freedoms. It, to reduce it in a speech at the NRA to say you're making people think or you're trying to say that black people... Uh, to get guns, that was that, that was the reason that you're there at the NRA. That was the reason for uh, for the Civil War. It I is think a that's fact. Reductive. It's not and reductive. I think it's Don. insulting. There are a whole plethora insult- of reasons that I, for look, the Civil with War. With due respect, including- I find I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to Black Americans, to say that Black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of wait, hold, hang on, that please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So I, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. You, I, I, I'm getting confused and I'm getting bamboozled by, I, I say, feeling the bamboozled by all of these facts. They can't talk in your ear. You, you can't, you're getting distracted in your ear because homeboy lighting you up like a candlestick. Mm. Lighting you up with facts. Exactly. They cannot stand to think that black people could be liberated with truth and facts. But see, the black man on the panel has to be the one that try to keep black people yeah, down yes. and tell you that the Civil civil War wasn't fought for your freedoms because they need you to hate the country. Mm. Just listen to the man spitting facts. Second. So to say that, that black people... Say, say what you said again. Black people... Sec- say what you said again. <laughs> you heard what he said, bro. Cured their freedoms after the Civil War it is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Amendment rights had, were secured. They That's were a fact. not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War and, and that things turned around. People would tried to change the freedoms that were supposed and to And you know how they the got Civil it? War they got their Second Amendment rights and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, Don, the, the final, NRA did the, not play a big role they train black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. That's that, not. The NRA actually, did not play a big role. This is just historical fact. It's, but it's not the, historical the, fact. The, the part that I just find because you say it's historical the fact. The part that I find insulting oh is God. when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through that civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the 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 way I live, the skin I live in every. Man, I'm black. It, it, Vivek is telling the truth, bro. Quit pulling that card. Mm-hmm. I'm black, and I know he's telling the truth. Day. Here's and where I you and I have the a different point of view. Black and white that black people don't have in this he, country, here, and that black people do have. Well, here's country. where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color yes. of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black I think it's man, insulting that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, we say. whatever ethnicity you are, explaining oh my God, to me what it's like to be black. Whatever ethnicity I am, I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this debate on the content of the ideas. To do it in an honest way and in a I fair think, way, and what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay, it, with, but we appreciate you coming on. With Thank due respect, Don, I look Thank forward to continuing that conversation. We'll Thank continue you. The conversation. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. Oh, they got smoked, and she was quiet the whole time, cause she 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 knows she ain't finna put her foot in her mouth. <laughs> but Don Lemon cannot allow a man of intelligence yes. to argue the point, could because the 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 whole premise of the existence of black people in America is that you are a victim, 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 victim. People are not willing to acknowledge that there were things that were done 
to assist blacks into becoming what we are today. Exactly. And white people, by and large, are the ones that, that, that facilitated a lot of this. The Civil War was fought so that we could be free as well as other things. Mm. And it wasn't until hundreds of thousands of white people died in the Civil War in order for us to even have an opportunity. Mm. Because if the Union didn't beat the Confederacy, we'll still probably be enslaved. But good men, and it was black people on that too, good men, majority white, fought for our freedoms. And then we begin to secure them over time mm. in a much more meaningful way. But 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 see, Don them wants you to think that you ain't got no freedoms, this country is this. Man, Vivek Ramaswamy just literally destroyed CNN. And I hope every single person that's listening to this can digest the yes. facts and then see that when the facts were told, the pundit could not accept mm. it. And he had to pull the race card yes, and to. say, because you ain't black, you don't know what the facts are. You don't know what truth mm. is. You don't know what objective truth and reality is. And so, you know, I, I can go down a list. Thank you, Vivek. Somebody that's on his team, get him on my, in touch with me. I want to interview him in front of everybody because I think this guy has a lot of yes. talent. And I will support him for president if Donald Trump just so happened to not uh, uh, get in this race. Now, uh, 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 or not complete the race, in this case they trick him and try to put him in jail. Wow, wow, wow. Don Lemon cannot even stand the truth. And that is what I keep saying. Like, lots of people don't even, can't even stand the truth and they can't stand the fact. Is how he had to play the race card, play the black card and say, oh, when you walk in my skin, then you say, And that is what a lot of um, people do. I, I mean, especially the black folk, that is what they've conditioned them to do. Like, um, you have to play the black card, you have to play the race card, and you have to see yourself as a victim all the time. And it's annoying. It is. Because it seems like that is the only thing that is going to work work for you or get you out of whatever situation or whatever thing or whatever lies that you've been told to believe in and just drown yourself in it. That seems to be the only way. Does it, the, the, does it have to be the way? No, it doesn't have to be the way. Say the truth, hear the truth, and take the truth. Stick with the truth. Move to the truth. And that is it. I've said it before that um, Vivek Ramaswamy is um, very intellectually spoken. He is articulate with his answers and, and in his speech. And um, sometimes when he speaks, I'll be like, wow, wow. He's very knowledgeable. He has done his assignment. He knows what he's saying. I mean, <laughs> lots of people have to listen to him speak and learn from him. If that's, that, that's, that may be, learn from him because he's um he's speaking the fact and i love and I, and here you can even confirm and here uh, the officer trade tatum says yes he is a black person he he lives in the black skin or he has a black skin and he's concurring to what uh, vivek ramaswamy is saying that is the truth so why is oh my god but yeah is how Don Lemon insulted his producer his co-host along outside how he disrespected his guest and um is is a good thing that this company um showed where they stand that oh yeah we are for values and we don't tolerate this attitude for you to disrespect your guests or disrespect your, your co-host or disrespect your um producers like it's a good thing for them to um show we understand but yeah i really love your thoughts and your contribution in the comment down below what are your thoughts about this interview what are your thoughts about this i would also love to learn from you um regarding the second amendment um i would really love to read from you you can share your thoughts about it um and you can also share some other useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video